So today we will discuss about a stack. Actually, a stack is the memory area uh, in the RAM where we can store the content or the data so that in future, whenever we require those data, we can retrieve the, those things. So, this stack is a reserved uh, memory area in the RAM. So now, with the stack, there is one pointer associated with the stack and that pointer is called as stack pointer. Stack pointer, uh, this is represented by SP and this is a 8 bit register. So this is a 8 bit register. The purpose of stack pointer is to point the memory location which is reserved for a stack. By default, the value of SP in 8051 microcontroller is 07A. So default value is 07x so this is the memory location of the RAM which is pointed by SP stack pointer now our, our stack starts from one location higher than this value so we, we know that in, in RAM uh, suppose this is the RAM of 8051 microcontroller this is the memory location 00H and this is the location 07H. So these locations comes in bank 0. Bank 0. Now as I told you, SP indicates the memory location from where our uh, stack will start. So by default the value of SP is 07. So SP points this address. So this address is pointed by SP. And our stack area starts from SP plus 1. So that is 07 plus 1 is 08. So our stack starts from memory location 08H. From here stack starts. So our memory location 08 is the first location of our stack. So from here we can store the content, store the data uh, in the RAM so that in future if we require we can retrieve those data. So I will tell you one example. Suppose in some application, in some application we are using two registers R0 and R1. Uh, suppose let us assume that we are having uh, some data in R0 03H and we are having some data in R1 register that is F2H. And here in this part of our program there are few instructions there are few instructions which are using R0 and R1 register and due to these instructions the value of R0 and R1 may change because these registers are utilized in this part of program for some arithmetic operation or some logical operation and the value of R0 and R1 has been changed in these instructions now later on Suppose again we require here R0, the old content of R0 we require here 03H and the content of R1 F2H. Again we require these two uh, content in R0 and R1 in this part of our program, in this part of our program. Then how will we get these values? Because these values are initially we are having 03 in R0 
and F2 in R1. But in this part of the program, the value of R0 and R1 have been changed. And here again we require old values. So, uh, and yes, of course in this uh, instruction, we are using R1, R0 and R1 register. So, there is one option, one method is there. Whenever this part of program starts, what we will do? We will store the value of R0 and R1 somewhere in the memory that is called as stack. So what we will do? In this, in this memory area, we will store the value of R0 and R1. Now R0 and R1 is free because already we have stored the values somewhere in the memory. Now in this portion of the program, programmer can use R0 register and R1 register for uh, some arithmetic or, or logical operation. Now later, later on in this portion of the program, again the programmer requires the same value of R0 and R1, which was there initially. So now what we can do? The value which we stored in the stack, now we can retrieve those values. We can again bring 0, 3 which was in the stack in R0 and F2 which was in the stack in R1. So now we have retrieved our value and in this portion of our program, we can use R0 and R1 with same initial value. So this is the purpose of the stack means uh, at some point of time in our application, if we require certain, certain registers, then we can store the content of the register in stack. Then we can use those registers in our program. Later on, whenever we require the old content of the registers, then we can retrieve those contents from the stack. Now with stack, there are two instructions which we have to use. So stack related instructions. So there are two instructions, one push and two So these are two instructions which are related to a stack. Now we will first see the push instruction. Now the syntax of push instruction is SP 
प्लस वन मेमोरी लोकेशन मेमोरी लोकेशन एंड आफ्टर ट्रांसफरिंग दिस कंटेंट एट एस पी प्लस वन मेमोरी लोकेशन न्यू अपडेटेड एस पी विल बी एस पी प्लस वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द कंटेंट एट मेमोरी लोकेशन थ्री जीरो एच लेट एस जूम सम कंटेंट हियर एट थ्री जीरो एच वी आर हैविंग सम वैल्यू सेवन ई एच दिस एट बी डाटा इज देयर एट थर्टी एच सो कंटेंट स्टोर्ड एट दिस लोकेशन दैट इज थ्री सेवन ई एच विल बी स्टोर्ड एट एस पी प्लस वन द वैल्यू ऑफ एस पी इज जीरो सेवन so sp plus 1 is 0 8 so at this address this is the address at this address the content from 30h will be moved so this address is 08h this one at this address 7e will be moved 7e will be moved here and once the data has been moved new updated stack pointer will be sp plus 1 so new sp is 08h so now the value of sp is 08h so basically uh, whatever is the value of stack pointer the content will be stored at one higher memory location so right now the value of sp is 08 now suppose again we have used another push instruction push 31 h now what will happen the content the data is stored at 31 h at this address this will be moved at sp plus 1 as i told you whatever is the value of sp The content, the data will be stored at one higher location. So SP is zero eight. So data will be loaded at zero nine at this address. So suppose now this is zero nine H address, and this is thirty one H address, and thirty one H. Suppose we are having three three H. So now with the instruction. Uh, <coughs> Push 31h. The content is stored at 31h, which is 33. It will be loaded at sp plus 9. Sp updated sp was 08. So this content will be loaded at memory location 09. So here 33h will come. And finally, after transferring this data, the new sp will be sp plus 1. So initial sp was 08 so now it will become 09h so now sp will point this so again if you will use another push instruction so the next content will be loaded at 0ah so like this a uh, stack grows upward in case of 8051 microcontroller so this is about the push instruction now second instruction is pop with the pop again we have to use some address and example is pop uh, 2 a x so this is one instruction pop 2 a x so the purpose of pop instruction is to retrieve the content which was stored in stack so here with this instruction what will happen whatever is the value of stack pointer from this address from this address so stack pointer will points the address memory address in the stack area 
from that memory address 8 bit data will be moved at the address which is given with instruction pop so with a address right here so let us assume let us assume that when we are executing this instruction at that time the value of stack pointer is let us assume it is 0 a x so now what this instruction is going to do pop to a x so it will retrieve the content from the ram memory location pointed by sp so here sp points 0a so from 0a whatever is stored at 0a let us assume uh, let me move this uh, let us assume at 0a we are having some value um, 3 f x okay so now the content which is stored at the memory location pointed by sp so sp is having 0a so this content 3f this content will be moved at address which is given with the instruction pop so at the address 2a it will be moved so let us you uh, at in this uh, ram this is the address 2a h Right. So this data will be moved to 2AH, so 3F. And after shifting this data, after transferring this data, the new SP will be SP minus 1. So now new SP is 0A minus 1, 09H. So with Push instruction SP will be incremented by 1 and with pop instruction the SP will be decremented by 1. Now we will take one example. Uh, suppose we are having uh, some value in R0 and R1 register of bank 0. So R0 and R1 of bank 0 of bank 0. Suppose at in these registers we are having some data uh, f f h and uh, d d h. These eight bit numbers are there. So what we will do? We will we will bring these numbers in these registers uh, by writing this instruction move r not comma hash f f h and move r1 comma hash d d h now here we will uh, we will use uh, some new value in these registers we will load some new value in these registers and uh, move r0 comma hash 3 3 h and move r1 comma hash 4 4 h and now in the remaining part of our program we will utilize these new values of r0 and r1 in some uh, arithmetic or logical operation so we are not i will not write those instructions just now and now what we will do now from here suppose we want the uh, previous value which we were having in r0 and r1 again we want those values in r0 and r1 
right? So here we require R naught and R one F F H and we require D D H, right? So what we can do now for this application we will we will use push and pop instruction. So what we will do here? O R G zero 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 H. These two instruction we will write as it is. Move R naught comma hash F F H. Move R one comma hash D D H. Now we know that during these instructions. The content of R naught and R one is going to change, and after these two instructions, again we require the same old content of R naught and R one. So what we will do? We will store the value of these R naught and R one in stack. So for this, I will write instruction push so. What is the address of R naught? The address of R naught. This is from bank zero, so I will write push zero zero H. So what this instruction will do? It will store. So by default, the by default the value of S P right now is zero seven H. So with this instruction, the content stored at location zero zero H will be loaded at S P plus one. So S P plus one is zero eight. So at zero eight address, I will write here address. At zero eight address, the content at zero zero, content at zero zero location, zero zero location. We are having F F. So here F F data will be moved, and S P will become zero eight H. S P will be increased by one. Now we have stored this FF in a stack. Now again we will use another instruction, push zero one H. Because here we want to store the uh, content of R one, which is a part of bank zero in a stack. So here you have to write the address. Because with push and pop instruction, you cannot write you cannot write push R naught or push R one. You have to write the address. So with this, the content at memory location zero one, that content is DD. It will be stored at location SP plus one. So SP is zero eight, and SP plus one is zero nine. So here with this instruction, at the address zero nine H, data DD H will be stored, and After storing this in zero nine address, the SP will become SP plus one. So now new SP is zero nine H. So this is updated. And this is updated. Right? Now we can use these two registers. We can change these values. Move R naught comma hash three three H. Move. R one comma hash four four H, right? Now after these two instruction, we require the same values of R naught and R one. So one thing you remember: in case of stack, in case of stack, it is last in, first out. So this is. Last in, first out, which was stored in the last, that will come first. So here, in the last, we stored, we stored the content of memory location zero one, that is content of R one. So that will be retrieved first. So with now, I will use pop instruction. Pop. So here, what we will do, we will pop the content which is in the stack into uh, R one register. 
So here I will for the address of R1 is 0, 1, H. So with this instruction, what will happen? The content at the address SP will be transferred to address 0, 1, H. So what is the value of SP here? Value of SP is 0, 9. At 0, 9, we are having a content DD. So that content will be transferred to memory location 0, 1. And 0, 1 is the address of R1 register. So basically what will happen with R1 now, DDH will be transferred. And after transferring this value, the value of SP will become SP minus 1. So earlier SP was 0, 9 and now it will become 0, 9 minus 1. It is 0, 8H. This is updated. This is the updated value of SP. So now we have retrieved one data in R1 register. Now I will use instruction another pop pop 00H. Now with this instruction, what will happen? The content at address SP will be transferred to the address given with the instruction POP that is 00H. So SP now 0 0.08. At 08 we are having FF. Here at the 08 we are having FF. So that value will be transferred to address 00. So now R0 will have FF. So now we have retrieved the values and finally uh, we can use these uh, values of these register in our remaining part of our program. So here I will stop this uh, as jump h1. So once again, I will just uh, uh, explain this uh, with the content of our RAM. So, what will happen? Due to first instruction, move R0, comma, hash, FF. R0 is at, uh, this is R0, and this is at location 00H. So, here we are having now FFH. Now, move R1, comma, hash dd so this is r1 register of band 0 this is 0 1 h address so here we are having dd h <coughs> now push 0 0 so sp the value of sp initially the value of sp was by default it is 0 7 so with push 0 0 so what will happen the content at the location 0 0 this value will be moved at sp plus 1. So sp plus 1 is 08h. So this data will be moved to this place. So here we are having ffh. And after transferring this, sp will be increased by 1. So updated value of sp is 08h. So this is the updated value of sp. Now second instruction push 01h. So what it will do? It will push the content at the location 01h. At the 0, 1 h we are having dd. It will push it at location sp plus 1. So sp is 0, 8. So sp plus 1 is 0, 9. So at 0, 9 h, this content will be moved and is stored here. So here we are having dd h. And sp will be increased by 1. So sp initially it was 0, 8. And now updated value of sp is 0, 9 h. That's all. Now after this we have written instruction move R0 comma hash 33. So again the value of R0 will be changed by value 33H. Move R1 comma hash 44H. So at this address we are having 44H. Now pop 01. So this instruction what it will do? It will retrieve the content from location pointed by SP to memory location 01. 
So value of SP is 0, 9. So this content will be retrieved and it will move at address 0, 1. So this will be moved at this address 0, 1. So here 44 will be replaced by now DDH. And after transferring this value, the value of SP will be SP minus 1. So the updated value of SP is 08H. Now the next instruction pop 00H. So what it will do? It will retrieve the content pointed by 08. So at location 08 we are having FF. So now this data will be moved. It will be moved at this address. And this address is 00H. So here we have now FFH. So now we are having the original data which was there initially. So in this way programmer, programmer can use this uh, stack memory area which is which is used just to store the content of your RAM uh, temporarily so that in future whenever you require those content you can retrieve those content with the help of pop instruction. So while storing in stack you have to use push instruction and while retrieving the content we have to use pop instruction and always remember with push and pop instruction we have to mention here the address only you cannot use the name of the register or any other addressing mode you have to use the the memory location the address uh, with pop and push instruction So now we will see uh, the example which we just now discussed uh, for the stack uh, with MCU8051. So here we have written the same program uh, org000 then move r0, hash ff then move r1, hash dd. So here one, one point I want to just mention uh, our data is ff. This data we want to load in r0. But always remember that whenever our data starts with alphabet, because this is a hexadecimal number system, so in hexadecimal number system there are alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F. So whenever our data starts with these alphabets, then we must add 0 before that. Otherwise it will uh, give us one error. So this since the data is FF, that's why we have added one zero, 0 FF. Then move R1 comma data is DD, we have added 0, 0 DDH. Then, then here push 0, 0. Then push 0, 1, move R0 comma hash 33, move R1 comma hash 44, pop 0, 1, pop 0, 0, and here H jump, here end. So this is our program. So we will just uh, see what what uh, uh, will be the changes due to this program. So here uh, this is our RAM area. This is the location 00, 0 of RAM. This is 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04, 0, 05, 0, 06, 0, 07. Then this is 0, 08 like this. And uh, here this, this is R0 register in R0 content is 00, R1 00 content like this, this is R7 register content is 00. And uh, here you can find SP, this is stack pointer, this is stack pointer SP, by default its, its value is this 07. So this indicate that our stack area starts from one memory location higher than this value. So our stack starts from 08 address of RAM. And here 08 address, this is the 08 address and this address we have right now 00. So everywhere in the RAM by default the values are 00 but this, this uh, place is 08 address. This is 09 address. So in this way. Okay, so with the first instruction move R0, comma, hash 0 ff. With this in R0 we will get ff. And at the same time we know that this R0 
belongs to bank number 0 so you will find that FM data will be stored at this location because this is the 00, zero memory location which belongs to R0 of bank 0. So we will execute this instruction and we will monitor R0 here and uh, this memory location. See here. Now this value here you will find uh, this is FF and here also you will find this is FF. Now the next instruction is move R1, 0 dd. So with this R1 will get 0, uh, will get dd and R1 belongs to uh, bank number 0 and its address is 01. So this is a 01 address and this address right now we are having 00, zero value. So here dd value will be stored at the same time at R1 also you will find dd. Yes, here this is dd and uh, here also you will find now dd. Now the next instruction is push 00. zero. This instruction uh, what it will do? It will load the content which is stored at address 00, zero into a stack. And in the stack, it will store at sp plus 1 memory location. So here you find the sp is 07. So at 08 memory location, the content of address 00 will be stored. So this is 08 memory location. Right now here you find it is 00. So at this place, ff will be stored. And after the execution of push 00, zero stack pointer will be increased by 1. So, so what you will see now, at SP you will find 08, at 08 address you will find value FF. So this variation you will see now. This. See now SP its value is 08 and you see at address 08 you will find now FF FF has been stored in stack now the second instruction is push 01 so this instruction what it will do it will store the content at address stored uh, it will just uh, take the content which is stored at 01 the content is dd into stack and where it will store in stack it will store in stack at location sp plus 1 so sp is 08 so we will add in this uh, 1 so it will become 09 and at 09, this is the memory location 09. At this location, right now we find it is 00. So at this location, dd will be stored. So after this execution of this instruction, here you will find dd and sp will be increased by 1 and it will become 09. Now see, uh, see the value of sp, it is 09 and see the value at address 09 this is dd so now we have stored the values of r0 and this is the value of r0 which we have stored here this is the value of r1 which we have stored here now what we can do in remaining two instructions, we can utilize R0 and R1 for some other storing some other data. So here now I will load 33H in R0 and 30 and 44H in R1. 
So now you see in R0 we are having FF which is replaced by 33 and in R1 we are having DD which will be replaced by 44. So see here it is 44, it is 33 and at the same time you will find R0. 33 will be stored at 0, 0 location and R1 which is 40. Uh, it is stored at location 0 1. Now suppose we again want uh, the old content of our uh, R0 and R1 which were FF and DD. So now we can retrieve these values from the stack with the help of POP instruction. So first we have written POP 0 1. Because this uh, in stack, stack works on the principle of uh, last in first out. So we post in the last the content of address 01. See here, content of address 01 was post, post in the last. So when we retrieve the data, so the content of 01 will be retrieved first. That's why here we have written instruction pop 01. So now what this instruction will do, POP01, whatever is stored at memory location pointed by SP, that will be stored at memory location 01. So SP, SP is having a value 09, so SP is pointing to memory address 09. So whatever is there at 09, what is there at 09, this is 09. DD. So this value will be stored at address 01. So at 01 right now we have 44. So this 44 will be replaced by DD and after this transfer the stack pointer will be decreased by 1. So at the stack pointer you will find it will become 808 and at this address 01 you will find DD. this. Here we got now dd and the value of stack pointer you will find uh, it is 08. Now the next instruction is pop 00. So this instruction what it will do? It will bring the value which is stored at address pointed by SP into address 00. So the data at 08 is FF. This will be stored at 00. 00 address is this. Currently here we are having 33. So this FF will be moved to this address. 33 will be replaced by FF and after this replacement the value of SP will become reduced by 1, it will become 7. So we will see this. See. So value of SP has been now 07 and at address 00 you will find now it is FF. Now this is FF. So in this way we have retrieved our content of, of R0 and R1 by using POP instruction. So this is the example of the push and POP instruction.